Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. President Trump blasts little Adam Schiff for illegally leaking confidential information. President Trump blasted little Rep. Adam Schiff, CDA, Monday morning, branding the House Intelligence Committee member one of Washington's biggest liars. The president also called out Schiff for illegally leaking confidential information. Little Adam Schiff, who is desperate to run for higher office, is one of the biggest liars and leakers in Washington, right up there with Comey, Warner, Brennan and Clapper. Adam leaves closed committee hearings to illegally leak confidential information. Must be stopped. Tweeted the president. Schiff has long been suspected of leaking key details of Donald Trump Jr.'s hearing before congressional investigators last year. Trump Jr.'s attorney, Alanis Futterfuzz, has called on Congress to crack down on suspected leakers. In a letter sent to Congressman Michael Conaway, RTX, Futterfuzz, called for an investigation into leaks from the House Intelligence Committee, suggesting the individual who leaked the false WikiLeaks story did so knowingly. Republicans suspect that the staff of Rep. Adam Schiff, California Democrat, leaked the erroneous scoop to CNN. They say his staff regularly leaks, with CNN being a favorite, with a spin that is not accurate, wrote Rowan Scarborough of The Washington Times. Not only is Schiff accused of leaking confidential information to the media, but legal experts believe he may have recently published classified intelligence about the FISA memo last week. As the Washington Examiner's Stephen Nelson noted, the California Democrat cited two specific examples of alleged inaccuracies in the memo. The majority suggests that the FBI failed to alert the court as to Mr. Steele's potential political motivations or the political motivations of those who hired him, but this is not accurate, Schiff said in a statement. The GOP memo also claims that a Yahoo News article was used to corroborate Steele. But this is not at all why the article was referenced, added the California Democrat. Were these two revelations classified? Washington Examiner reports. Stephen Aftergood, director of the Government Secrecy Project at the Federation of American Scientists, said it's possible those refutations reveal classified information. In the abstract they could be problematic since they go beyond the official public record in describing classified documents he said. But under current circumstances, it is hard for me to imagine anyone objecting. Mark Zaid, an attorney who has worked many national defense cases dealing with the handling of classified information, also said it's possible the Schiff release reveals classified information. At first blush I would have some concerns about the details in this statement as to whether it crosses a classification line, but it is possible Rep. Schiff having had access to the underlying classified information, knows these points are in unclassified paragraphs, Zaid said. So much of these back and forths about the memo are in a gray area on classification. Democrats have fought hard to paint the memo as a hyper-partisan piece of propaganda aimed at discrediting the Trump-Russia collusion investigation. Nobody worked harder to keep the memo classified than Schiff. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.